Hey guys, what's up? New phone case BTV here, back at it again with a new video. Today guys, we're talking about the newest record from Weezer called Pacific Daydream. Famed alternative rock band Weezer are now on their 11th record and wow, yeah, a lot of records have came out since then. Red album, blue album, green album, white album even last year that a lot of people seem to love. And overall, going into this new record, I was a little bit concerned. Mainly because when I heard the single Feels Like Summer, I thought it sucked, to be honest, honestly. I thought uh, it was a really bland, sellout-ish kind of summer song that was easily going to be forgotten and had a really forgettable chord structure. And just really didn't sound too good and sounded pretty lazily written, too. The chorus was so lackluster, the instrumental was bland, and yeah, just not a very good song. So that put me a little bit of a cautious feeling going into Pacific Daydream. But then... We got singles like uh, Mexican Fender, which was all right. Honestly, I thought Mexican Fender had a really solid start with those um, guitar chords going on and um, overall solid verses. But um, the instrumental in the chorus is a bit lacking, to be honest. I felt like that could have used a stronger melody. And um, yeah, overall, the song could have been better. Overall, I like Mexican Fender, but it could have been better. So, going into this new Weezer record, I didn't hear any of the other two singles. So, I was like, you know what? There's only ten tracks, so I'm just going to go right into this thing with a fresh mind. I didn't turn out. Well, this record is passable. It's decent enough, I guess. Honestly, though, I just feel pretty underwhelmed by it. Um, I'm not sure where to start with this one, because it kind of seems like a jumbled mess, to be honest. But... I will start pretty much with my biggest issue with this album, which is probably a big issue for a lot of people, the production. Overall, the production, it's pretty pop sounding this time around, with a lot of the guitars kind of taking the back seat and the mix, with a bunch of compressed and electronic poppy sounds going out throughout this thing. A lot of trending sounds like the reggae touches in Feels Like Summer, sounding like pretty much 21 Pilots, basically, and a lot of other stuff. and. Yeah, it just sounds pretty compressed and overproduced, to be honest. A uh, really big, messy record. And honestly, it's not a bad record, though. I mean, a lot of the sounds sound decent. A lot of the songs the songs sound decent, but I don't know. I was just kind of missing that rocky touch they had towards the beginning of their career on songs like Hash Pipe, for example. Overall, really rocky tune there. But we just don't get that on a lot of these songs. And um, overall, I was like, you know what, it's going to be another of those pop, it's, it's going to be another one of those pop records from rock bands, so I was like, you know what, don't judge it as, don't judge it as a sellout record, judge it as a pop record. How is it in terms of a pop record? Well, it's decent, but not much rises above mediocre. A lot of the songs are just kind of, um, samey sounding, to be honest, and a lot of the songs are not really that, uh, well, uh, some of them are catchy. I do like the song La Mancha Screwjob, to be honest. It's really catchy. It's in my favorite kind of key of a song, too. I like that key that it's used in. And the drumming is solid on that. But overall, um, a lot of these songs just sound kind of empty. Take Beach Boys, for example, a thoroughly mediocre song that honestly, I just, you know, while there was good parts in it, I kind of like the guitar melody. It's so faint and in the background, though. But honestly, I just kind of forget it exists, and the song is just kind of one I forget as soon as it's over. Um, there are catchy moments on here. Songs like Get Right actually have a bit of swell and grit to it, and I really like the chorus on Get Right. I, I think they do a solid job there. Uh, there's other songs too, like Weekend Woman has a good chorus in terms of frontman's vocals. Uh, Rivers Cuomo, I feel like, d d delivers solid vocals on this album. I don't think any, uh, any of the vocals, I don't think he's a, an extraordinary singer, but I think he gets the job done, to be honest. Overall, the vocals on this album still sound pretty good. I think they're probably some of the things I like most about this record. And while I'm pointing out vocals, I do think he sounds pretty good on Any Friend of Diane's. And also the instrumentation sounds solid on that song. Sadly, I wish I would have liked the song more. To be honest, the lines like, um, any friend of Diane's is a friend of mine is a refrain that gets repeated a lot throughout this record, and honestly, I don't like that. Honestly, it sounds way too repetitive, and it's just repeated way too much that I just end up getting sick of the song and end up not liking the song that I feel like I should have liked. So honestly, that sucks. And Happy Hour goes for this, like, really anthemic style chorus, but the, the, the production just has no body to it. It just has no texture. Uh, really not much flair or grit to it. Honestly, it just sounds pretty 
you know, run of the mill, to be honest. Um, sounds like something like All Time Low would have done, just with not as much power to it. Overall, I give this record points for trying a new style, kind of. But most, most often than not, this record just feels pretty safe and... Honestly, this just this is nowhere near the best Weezer record to be honest, not even close. I'm thinking maybe a light 6 out of 10, but that's even being pretty generous to it. Overall, it's a passable record, it's it's alright, but overall, yeah, not the best Weezer record, and not even the best album um, lately I've been hearing in general. Um, I just kind of got not much out of it, not as much as I was expecting anyways. Um, yeah, I don't think I have much more to say about it. Anyways, if you enjoyed my review of Weezer's Pacific Daydream, please subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more reviews, more countdowns. Please watch my UK Top 40 Ranked video. That was a really awesome video. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe. It'd be much appreciated.